independently certified, the most accurate in Central Kentucky. Thanks for staying with us. We're joined now by Chief Meteorologist Jason Myers. Now, we joke a little bit about the rain being good if you want to sleep or you need an excuse not to do anything, but we had a whole lot more rain than what was needed for just a little nap. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's an understatement right there. <laughs> well, it really wasn't too bad for Lexington. They picked up about an inch across the Lexington metro area, but eastern Kentucky, it was a mess. We had a lot of road closures, our roads that are still closed, high water issues. A lot of folks had the high water that actually go right up to their home, as we were seeing and showing earlier. Take a look at actually these uh, flooding pictures from Bell County. Friend Thomas Taylor taking these pictures, and you can just see the high water there around the playground, and also some of the high water cutting off uh, actually some folks from actually making. Making it maybe to a road because it's uh, really their driveway that's flooded, or even horses, as you can see there, uh, just right around that high water. So we dealt with a lot of high water for eastern Kentucky, and we're still dealing with that. We've got more rain on the way, and take a look at what we've picked up as far as rainfall amounts over the past five days. Harlan County, you've had over five and a half inches of rain. That's one of the reasons why you've had so much flooding. Knox County, over four inches. Casey and Knott County, just under three inches, about two inches for Madison County, and then compare that to Fayette. County, where you picked up about an inch over the past five days. Again, a good soaking rain for the entire viewing area, but too much rain for eastern Kentucky. As we go overnight, we still could have a little rain and possibly even freezing rain by around daybreak Tuesday for eastern Kentucky. However, central Kentucky, bluegrass area, you should stay dry overnight with overnight low temperatures in the upper 20s. So it will be a cold start to tomorrow morning. Tuesday in the morning hours, again, some spotty rain for eastern Kentucky, partly cloudy for central Kentucky. Later this week, though, we all have the chance for more rain. However, even with rain chances, we've got some milder temperatures to talk about. This is some moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, so not only will it have more moisture and rain to deal with, but also the milder temperatures. Step out of the way so you can see even better of our AIC roofing camera looking off toward Hamburg in the west, seeing some clouds right now. Again, still dealing with some high water here in eastern Kentucky with river flood warnings and advisories, which continue through midweek. No rain shower activity outside, just some cloud cover that stayed around, mainly for eastern Eastern Kentucky through most of this afternoon. You can see the clouds building back in by 7 a.m. right around daybreak, and you can see some pink here. Possibility for freezing rain here 7 a.m. Tuesday morning. Upper 20s, a cold start to your day. Most of your afternoon hours will feature just some extra clouds across central Kentucky, but you could see some spotty rain for southeast Kentucky. As we continue through the evening hours and as we go overnight Tuesday, we'll start to see maybe a few more showers developing for the entire viewing area. We'll see highs in the upper 40s for Tuesday. Wednesday, we actually start off the morning around 44. That's a mild start, even though it'll be chilly. You'll need the jacket. Scattered showers possible for your Wednesday for Valentine's Day, but a milder afternoon. Highs around 61 degrees as winds start to turn more out of the south. Friday will be a day of transition, though. A strong cold front moves through. That will bring with it a good soaking rain. That could lead to more flooding issues. Many areas picking up about an inch to an inch and a half through this week. As far as temperatures outside right now, we have anywhere from the lower 30s off toward the east to upper 30s to near 40 degrees across the bluegrass area. Overnight lows will be in the upper 20s. Headed into your Tuesday, highs around 49 degrees to so upper 40s for Tuesday. But the warming trend continues. 60s by your Wednesday, Thursday, 70 degrees, and then mid 40s cooler after that cold front moves through on Friday. So you'll need the rain gear as we continue through the work week. All right, Jason, thank you. Well, the Cats dropped their third in a row. They lost at Texas A&M over the weekend, but Coach Cal says don't hit the panic button. And